Hello everybody, Sift here again with another 20 minutes till dawn run. And today I will be playing Scarlet with the Flame Cannon, a classic combo that I'm pretty sure people have played before. <laughs> Scarlet is every third shot throws a wave of fire and Flame Cannon got remade and now it has a crazy attack speed but it has less range. So because of the crazy attack speed idea of the Flame Cannon is why I want to do that, not because of Scarlet herself. I am picking Scarlet though because she gains passives uh, from elites that have to do with burning and flaming in general. So I guess it's pretty much a semi-forced combo unless I don't want to a combo with my own uh, build, you know. Now, um, yeah, that's pretty much. I don't think I need to explain anything else. Now, flame specifically stacks, burning opponent stacks. So, yeah, it, it's going to become crazy. We're going to be doing like thousands of burn damage per second at some point. Now, the passives, the actual passive that I want is to gain attack speed on... Uh, flame that is one of her three passive elite pass you can it's gonna go with reload rate here as um, the new remake of this flame gun as you see has made the flames actually 100% pierce the idea is that it is like a flamethrower now so because it has like infinite piercing the only thing I actually want to gain is uh, flame related passives uh, attack like electric passives because electricity has to do with attack speed and this thing has crazy attack speed yeah look at this i mean look at this do you see right now that we have for example the infinite bullets because of metal regression let's go attack speed too um yeah i want attack speed but before that i want pyromage let's go pyromage as i said flame does stack so burning the opponents twice is actually a thing twice and three times and four times and also i want to get uh, well all the flame related passives because why not because why not now, uh, my hope is that I will gain the um, passive upgrade. So, you know, the elite passive upgrade that says that every time I flame an opponent, I gain crazy attack speed, as that is pretty much, you know, a godsend. Uh, burn or attack speed? I think I want to go attack speed. Also, also, double shot and triple shot and million shots is also really good for this, because obviously I burn opponents more often and more uh, more often. <laughs> That's the thing, more often and even more often. So I think I want to go with double shot. I can get the flame-related passives later. Rapid fire is decent, but it's not gonna matter. Like, attack speed is not gonna matter at all when I get to the point where, you know, I, um, what is it called? When I get to the point where I already have infinite attack speed, it won't matter that I have a bit more attack speed. That's what I tried to say. Man, the infinite bullets thing is insane. Okay, uh, as I said, fire attack speed is not gonna matter. Let's get a tense burn here. And hope we will get an upgrade that I care about, like a range. I would like to gain the range upgrade. And I would also like to gain the upgrade that says that opponents die when they're down to 20% of their max life. Uh, as that is very good with dot related stuff, as it pretty much is gonna hit that 20% threshold in, um, on the spot, like it's not gonna overkill. I would say let's go with fun fire, uh, opening up for fully set and split fire. Divine Wrath would also be decent, but now let's go with fun fire here. Uh, oh, and also flame stack, just so you know. What I don't know though is, uh, I mean, look at this, how much the the burn the, the tree right now is burning for 100 plus. I want to also get a bunch of movement speed related stuff, because obviously I will be shooting very often with this specific build, and movement speed is important to, you know, not have to move that much. Uh, we found movement speed, and I also found take aim. I want this for sure. First of all, bullet speed is good because it's gonna make it so that it attack more opponents. And uh, assassin here, like all the bullet speed stuff is really good for us. But first let's go with movement speed. And hopefully we're gonna find that, um, that other upgrade a bit later again. Because right now, honestly speaking, I'm moving a bit too slow for my own good. I'm not picking up all the XP I need. And I'm also not able to pretty much avoid everything. I mean, look at this. Look, look how slow we're moving. Um, I wanted to also see something else, but right now I don't recall what it was. Let's go with take aim here. Hold on, no. Magnetism is also decent. We're gonna go take him. So we start having a bit more range. Uh, hopefully we're gonna get the upgrade we want. Like, on the next level up. <clears throat> That's uh, really important-ish. Oh, I remember what I want to say. So right now I'm at difficulty 14. So I want to repeat my prediction of what difficulty 15 is going to be. And my prediction has been these last two runs, uh, two or three runs, that uh, I, I guess... That the difficulty increase, the next difficulty, let's go with bullet speed here, is going to be, what is it called? Uh, one less upgrade. And if it is one less upgrade, then I have to say the dev does not have fantasy. Like one less upgrade choice per level. That's my guess is the difficulty 15 uh, difficulty, I guess, thing that they add. The challenge that difficulty darkness 15 is going to add. That's what I'm trying to say. 
go and burn this guy. Oh, at, at long last, the movement speed has arrived. Okay, I have not infinite bullets yet. Can I get the infinite bullets, please? I like how I'm gaining the crazy attack speed because of the 15, the 50 burns that I applied. Thing is still alive. Okay, he's toast. <laughs> and now we got the infinite bullets. And we got burn lasts twice as long. That means double damage throughout the duration of the burn itself. Not really the best thing, but also not the worst thing. So I guess it is something. <laughs> I would obviously prefer the attack speed, but whatever. Uh, let's go with Fusillade here. Once again, um, my normal damage is not something I care about. And uh, one of the upgrades I would like to gain from the level up is obviously 50% more burn damage, but also I get double the bullets in the chamber and also attack speed and I lose my damage and my knockback and whatnot. Because the more bullets I have, the better we're gonna be off. Let's continue smacaroning, burning everything around. A bit sad that I didn't get the passive I wanted, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go with the... This is really... No, yeah, let's go with this. Every fifth shot being a fireball. That's gonna increase our damage by a lot. Specifically because the fireball does like 40-50 damage, so... It's obviously not. Now, uh, once again, the main way we know if we do enough damage and if the build is good enough is that if at the 10 minute mark, so when this thing here shows the 10, if I am at about 27 levels, then uh, the run is decent. Right? At least that's my uh, my opinion on how to exactly do the math on that. Uh, bullet piercing, definitely. The speed, the speed is what I care about, bullet speed. I don't care about the others anyway. Like, I don't want to be freezing opponents. I don't want to do any of those things. Let's continue on. I want to get electricity though. That's a mistake I haven't picked up yet. I need to pick up electricity for sure. Although the downside with electricity obviously is that it kills opponents off map and then I have to run around and find XP and pick it up and whatnot. But uh, I definitely want to have electricity as my attack speed is pretty much busted. So making sure that I also have electricity to do damage on top of everything else is good. Look how fast I'm attacking though. Burning everything. Oh, boss time. Let's burn the boss. Especially now that I got the infinite bullets. Oh, infinite bullets are gone. Is the boss... Oh, the boss... Like, it, it's, it's toast. We just killed the boss. Wow, we're insanely powerful. Uh, let's get magnetism to also up, uh, open up the magnetism tree. As magnetism is important. Come on, give me attack speed. Yeah, summon damage useless, movement speed useless, bullet bounces useless. And once again, the game gave us trash, but I'm gonna go with the movement speed tome, I guess. I'm okay with losing one life. I'm still not sure if I do take double damage at some point or another, but uh, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I just want to be moving a bit faster around so I can pick up the XP. Look at this, look at this. 50% attack speed because of the 50 burns I applied. I love it. The difference is pretty huge. Once again, attack speed is completely irrelevant to us, as I will gain infinite attack speed after I pick up the third epic upgrade, or the second if I'm lucky enough, but sometimes, man, these runs always give you the one you don't want. Uh, reload rate even higher, or split fire? Let's go split fire to also start burning even more opponents, the ones behind us more specifically. I'm a bit sad we didn't get the very big uh, ammo thing, like triple your ammo. But it is what it is. And I also didn't get, find the fire does more damage. So I literally didn't find any of the two upgrades I want. The boss upgrades, that is. Now, obviously, it's very important to me that I gain the next at least upgrade. I, I really want to at least uh, get either the attack speed. Yeah, I want to get the attack speed, not either. I just want to get the attack speed next. From the elite, that is. Continue burning everything and everyone. Continue picking up XP. Try to avoid everything. Electricity would be a really good choice right now. Okay, I didn't find electricity. I did find this though. Increased reload rate and movement speed. So let's get that. While I have the shield that is. Uh, which I currently have. And most of the time I do have the shield and the... Uh, yeah, most of the time I do have the shield anyway. The movement speed part is obviously the one I actually care about. Now the bad thing with taking a uh, burn does double the, uh, does double the duration right away is obviously the fact that well it doesn't increase how much damage it does it does increase it after the duration ends like the, the burn lasts three seconds right so if an opponent survives for four seconds then the passive already starts doing more damage but if an opponent dies at the two second mark or less then uh, the passive we got literally does nothing uh, let's go with this as I don't want attack speed or the other thing. 
I won't pick up range and stuff. I think this game definitely, definitely needs a magnet. Like, they need to add some kind of thing in. The simplest thing would be that the keystone passive, like the very final passive of the magnetism, it has a secondary effect that says every minute or every two minutes all the XP on the map gathers onto you. That would be the simplest solution. It's just one line of thing and it's just already added to the game. It just upgrades an already mediocre skill tree. Because honestly speaking, magnetism skill tree, very mediocre. But still, let's go with this. But still, why do you go why do you go that skill tree if it's mediocre? Well, because magnetism itself is important. But the skill tree isn't really that crazy. Like, 10% chance to get a bullet back. Ooh, crazy. Another thing is, like, when you pick up XP, you get attack speed. That is actually good. And then the other thing is just vision and, um, and range. Like, vision and pickup range. Like, what? Very, very mediocre stuff, all, all in all. Can I get the lightning right this moment? We just arrived at the 12 minute mark. Here is the point where most opponents appear and we get a bunch of XP. If this is literally the point where we should build up. And I didn't find what I wanted. I am gonna go with the stalwart shield, honestly speaking. Healing is also insane, but I think, first and foremost, let's get the cooldown on the shield. Reduced from one and a half minute to half a minute, which obviously is an insane difference. Especially if you remember that it does not happen, you cannot do that retroactively. <clears throat> I'm so sad that we don't have the crazy attack speed, man. Okay, do you remember the, the level I pointed out that we have to get to for this to be worth it? Well, we are right now almost 20, so you realize that this is not a crazy... I mean, it is a good run. It is a crazy powerful run, don't get me wrong. Uh, let's get the reload thing, honestly. I mean, healing on flame isn't really something I read right now, so let's get the reload thing. Based on kills, I reload a lot faster. Here we go, here we go. Give me attack speed. Burn opponents. I like how the flame spread. I definitely need to get the 20% uh, max life death thing. Okay, I haven't found it yet. Reload faster per kill. Okay, we're gonna go with reload faster per kill. That should increase my reload by a lot because I gain a lot of kills between flames. Now, like, I definitely get like 10 kills per reload. Yeah, here you go, boom. Oh, I, I also definitely gain the infinite bullets very often. Uh, let's continue with the movement speed. Actually, let's go pick up range. Come on, continue shooting everything. Yep, I'm, I'm getting the pickup range to open up the attack speed on XP pickup. Which I already have open, but yeah, there seems to be some kind of system, as I've said a bunch of times. If you have more skill trees from the range. Look at this, we got the 20% less HP. And also this gives us range, so that means I flame further away. Now, theoretically, people should be dying a lot faster. I mean, yeah, like, not very much. It's as if everybody has 80% life instead of having 100% life pretty much. And I just lost the shield by mistake. It is what it is. Mostly we lost the movement speed. The rest doesn't really matter. Okay, we are very close to the level I said we have to go to. 35% fire rate on pickup. That's also really good, obviously. So that means pretty much permanent attack speed boost. Yeah, I mean, look at this. We definitely are a lot stronger. I just need to get electricity. My biggest mistake was not picking electricity really, because all of these would have been dead now with so many attacks we are throwing out. Okay, I found electricity now, and I also found trash for the rest, so every second shot now does an electric shot, which should pretty much make it so that everything permanently electrifies. All the time something gets electrified here or there. Okay, and the moment I got it, everybody is dead, and, they are, and I'm 25 levels. So I have to say, I said 27 for a god run, 25 is pretty decent, honestly speaking. I think most XP that we didn't gain, uh, I mean, most of the kills we lost that we could have gotten is A, from the fact that I didn't get the electricity really enough, and B, from the fact that I got that the flames do more damage for more time instead of gaining, you know, infinite attack speed. The character gains, I hope I will gain the infinite attack speed next. Because I'm not sure if I will be able to beat the second boss easily enough without the insane attack speed. As that thing is literally the best passive in this character. Bare none, not comparable with anything else whatsoever. Like, it's it's a joke how powerful that is. And I really think they should make it so that you choose uh, which, uh, between three choices. When, you, when the time comes for you to choose passive for the characters. Uh, now you might say, yo, but uh, hmm, let's go freeze. I guess we can go freeze. 
Uh, as I said, now you might say, yo, Sift, but if you, but if you do that, if you make it so that, um, I don't know, man, every time I take the freeze, it always feels like it's worse because opponents stop coming close to me. I need to get the thing that says that I don't push him back anymore. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, even if you tell me that, uh, whoop. What? I don't know, guys, I really don't know what I was talking about. I need to I need to end my sentences whenever I want to say something. Let's hope we find the relic though. Come on. Give me the relic that I want. Give me the infinite attack speed. Oh. Come on. Come on. I mean look at how long this guy survives. If I had the infinite attack speed, he would have been dead already. He just died. Come on, give me the attack speed thing, please. Yes, I got it. Scarlet gains 10% fire rate every time she gets, she burns an opponent. This is it. This is it. This is the power that I wanted. This is the power that I wanted. Now we got it. Now we did actually get it. Should slide. Look at this. Just look at this. Do you see this? Do you see this? This is what I wanted. <laughs> Let's get even more movement speed. I told you this is the most busted passive. Oh, we lost the shield. Something survived. <laughs> Something survived my onslaught of flames. There, I, we might be getting uh, gaining less kills because all my pushback of the flames. Yeah, I mean, all these flames are pushing opponents back so much. By the way, imagine I don't see an opponent attack the, touching me and because opponents do double damage, I die. How much flame can I apply on a tree? I want to see how much flame I can apply on a tree. Come on, let's see. 5,000. Okay. 5,000 damage per second. Oh, I killed the tree with flames alone. Wow. Unbelievable. I didn't even know that's possible. I thought flames... Uh, I thought tree can, like, trees can only die from... I mean, look at this. I thought trees can only die from... You know... Where's my XP? Like, where are my levels? Man, seems like the moment you pick up Freeze, you lose so much XP gathering. Or is it the, the trash opponents? It might be both. I start hating Freeze, man. I start hating Freeze. Did I get hit? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, let's go with bullet movement speed, I guess. That's the main aspect there. I care about movement speed and weapon damage. I need to make freeze do percentage based. I, I need to get the two freeze passives that make freeze useful. I need to get them both. If you don't have those freezes borderline, you shouldn't even take it. Look at this, man. I want to also fight the boss in a moment to see um, how fast I can destroy him. I want to see how fast I can kill the boss, man. I'm super excited about that. Six minutes. Okay, I think the boss is coming at the five minute mark. So, look at this madness! Woo, 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 I'm a spinny, flippy flame god! I mean, that makes it so that most opponents don't actually die, but... Whatever, man. Whatever. I'm having my fun. Okay, Freeze does damage. Thank you. Okay, now Freeze actually does damage. Now I also need Freeze to scatter on, on, on kill. So that everybody that's close to opponents is gonna die. Look at this. Look at this. You know what? If, if Freeze didn't last uh, three seconds on opponents and lasted half a second like it does on bosses, it would have been better. Because then I, I would gain more kills by so many times I'm attacking. I would freeze them three or four times within a second and they would be dead. <laughs> While now they just stay frozen. I don't think Freeze stacks. I lost my shield again. Man, this is tiring with the shield. <laughs> by the way, the bosses supposedly do double damage. So theoretically, if anything touches me right now, I should be dead. Yep, I want to get the thing that says I no longer knock back opponents. Oh, the boss is here. Okay. Let's see how this is gonna go. Tirin! Theoretically, I should be taking double damage, by the way. I repeat. Okay, I got the shield on the last second. Can I get infinite bullets, please? I got him? No, I didn't. Please give me infinite bullets. See the laser? Oh, I got him. Let's go. Come on, you should be dead. I mean, come on. Do you know how much... Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was about to say, do you know how much damage you're taking right now? 
Uh, well, I'm forced to pick something. I guess we're gonna go with a rapid fire rate here because, I mean, I don't want the magic lens, which is, which is completely stupid. Actually, do I want the magic lens? No, let's go with fire rate, whatever. I didn't want to pick up either of those, but whatever. Let's see what we gain. I got the bullet. No, I want this. Fire rate, spread, and bullet damage is less. Knockback is almost nothing. Was there the flame choice? I didn't look at the first one, by the way. Look how my flames now spread like a shotgun. I love it. That's exactly what I wanted. I like how my bullets still just disappear. My bullets just disappear straight up. I think I should not have gotten freeze. I already said that three or four times, but... What can I say? They need to fix it. I don't know how they would do that, but... I guess it doesn't make sense, right? Because freeze is defensive anyway, so freeze would always be like this. Oh, look, the other elite. Let's go close to him. Hit him. Is it alive? I don't know where it is. Oh, it's back here. I see it. We're slowly pushing it off. Up, oh, it's toast. <laughs> yeah, we're not busted. What? You were busted. Bullet damage less, burn damage a lot more. Nice. 67 more to be precise. Uh, let's go with I gain bullets back when I electrify opponents. So I gain bullets back once in a while. Yep. Now we start gaining XP. Now I'm just running. I'm literally running towards the opponents. I'm not sure if anything even has a chance to survive. Oh, uh, when you freeze an opponent, they also burn. Or, or, or. Electricity does a lot more. Let's go with electricity does a lot more. Like, when I freeze, they burn. Who cares? It's a joke. I would enjoy gaining scatter if possible. You know, just saying. I would enjoy if I could gain that. I like how electricity is literally everywhere. I don't see if you see it. This is madness, man. Infinite bullets, infinite everything. The reload happens in half a millisecond. Like, the moment I go to zero bullets, boom, I instantly go up to full again. Uh, I gain the 50 kills threshold to get infinite bullets every half a millisecond, too. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take this, although it's a trash upgrade, just to open up the shatter. Uh, although shatter is already open, but once again, it feels like when you have two upgrades that are above the one you want, it, it gives you the below one easier. Continue clearing everything out. Look at this. Look at this! Right now I have infinite bullets active, right? So right now I have infinite bullets active. Now infinite bullets is done, and now infinite bullets is active again. Like, look at my bullets right now, at the top left. You see it's at 38. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. Okay, we still have infinite. Uh, let's go for this. I don't want to open up any other skill tree. Yeah, I don't want to open up any skill tree right now. Now we're losing bullets. At zero, reloaded, boom, and we got infinite bullets again. You see how fast we gained infinite bullets? Like the moment, the second we... the sec For three or four seconds is all the duration of not infinite bullets. Then I have for ten... Like not infinite... I died! No! 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 Unbelievable! The double damage killed us! No, the hubris! The hubris! The hubris! You know what? I'm gonna upload this regardless, though. <laughs> I'm gonna upload this regardless. It was a fun run. It was an awesome run. And honestly, yeah, I, I am, I'm okay with losing because of hubris. I'm not okay with losing if the game is, like, completely bust and whatnot, but I liked how we lost, like, out of the blue and nobody was expecting. Did you expect we're gonna lose? Did you expect we're gonna lose? Or did you also get invested in this run until you realized, oh, wait a minute, the video is about to end in two minutes, and I didn't even realize that. Boom. And then here it is. We are at the end of the video. Haha, <laughs> get that, I guess. I'm sorry we didn't win, but we can't always win. And honestly speaking, I have restarted so many runs in 20 minutes till dawn because I was not able to get the run that I wanted and this time I got the run that I wanted so in my opinion this was a successful run like I was able to showcase the build if I wasn't yoloing my life away and running around in circles we would have won but I told you that we would die from that didn't I tell you didn't I literally tell you that we will die from the double damage that happens we literally died from the double damage that happens and uh, yeah I mean that's it pretty much tomorrow I'm most likely gonna try to win <laughs> Just saying, maybe, maybe not, but yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna try to win, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's it for today, I hope you guys enjoyed the run, I definitely liked the run, even though we lost, I, I enjoyed the run itself, would like to hear your opinions in the comments below, and uh, yeah, thanks for all the Patreon members to support us, and if you also want to help me, just drop a like, it helps out the channel, and with algorithm and stuff, and if you want to subscribe too, maybe we're gonna hit the 100k at some point, I mean, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for today, so once again, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.